Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 17 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. Or today, we are going to continue on working with Mystical Agriculture and probably start diving into industrial foregoing and getting ourselves some latex and all that stuff produced so that way we can, uh, well, yeah, get stuff done. First things first, though, I want to look at my saplings. Um, and oak saplings, can these go into a botany pot? They can. What's your time for growth? Two minutes. Um, but it gets us wood but only one every two minutes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one every two minutes is kind of a lot. Um, so we're going to have to deviate a little bit on that. Anyway, let's look at our uh, Inferium farmland. Where was that at? So we can get these growing. Um, oh, fairly easy. We just need dirt, a hoe, and the farmland. I do have a hoe in my bag. So, bam, we now have Inferium farmland, so we can use that to then go downstairs here, and where is my thing? I always lose it. Okay. Um, so then we can just take this dirt out, put this one in, and our seeds, which I put away for some reason, can go in there. Bam. And now we have, every 40 seconds, we're going to have dirt essence being generated inside of this thing. Um, which is great. That gets us our dirt so that way we can do the sieving and try and get carrot seeds because I still don't have carrot seeds. It is unfortunate. Um, anyway, so that is that. Inferium essence seeds is basically where we need to be. Um, because as you can see here, we have 3,000 inferium essence, which may seem like a lot, but it absolutely is not anything at all. When it comes to mystical agriculture, you need... I mean, I, I'm going to say it's fair to say you need hundreds of thousands of Inferium Essence in order to progress through Mystical Agriculture to the end. Um, so we really need to get some of these seeds going so that they can start being produced passively while we're sitting here doing nothing. Uh, well, not doing nothing, but doing other things. That way we can, you know, start going. Inferium seeds are easy, though. You don't need to do any Mystical Agriculture stuff them bobs You just craft the seeds. Um, let's go check our quest book. Now, I know we don't get any rewards for these. I don't believe uh, we do get a few. Uh, oh, well, look, we get some farmland. And for dirt seeds, we get some more farmland. We'll take it. Um, so basically, the way this quest book is telling you is, okay, so we started out here, and this is also getting into Batania here so we can get mana seeds, but our base... Mystical Agriculture, you got to get your infusion altar, and then you make your seeds, um, and then, bam, these are all the seeds that you can make tier one. So we got earth, fire, ice, air, dirt, wood, and stone. These are our base seeds that you're going to need to craft some of the other stuff. So, like, fire seeds can be used to make lava. Air, earth makes, I don't know what earth makes, to be honest with you, actually. Water makes water, air makes air, I guess. Um, but yeah, so these are your basic seeds that we're going to need and we're going to eventually need all of them. Uh, wood seeds is something that I would like to look into getting, um, because that is going to be much better. That just requires four logs and four inferium. Let's go ahead and do those seeds too. Um, another thing that I want to look into the bot, the bot hopper botany pot is fantastic. It's a little bit, um, well, not being hopping is a little bit annoying. If it was, if I could get to the hopper botany pot, that'd be great. Um, but we'd have to dive into Batania or get into Pneumaticraft, and we'd have to get pretty, that's pretty far into Pneumaticraft. And it's actually pretty far into Batania, too. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, let's look into the Garden Cloche. I have actually never used the Garden Cloche before. Um, I have seen it used in packs, but me personally have never used it um you require a resistive heater from mechanism which means we're gonna have to get into mechanism because we're gonna need to get into infusing okay so i guess for now well i guess for now we're still not going to be getting into this mechanism is something that we're going to be getting into soon um 
probably very soon. Hmm. Man, that would have been nice. Because otherwise I have to set this thing up. Like I'm gonna have to set up multiple of these in order to like, you know, and the nice thing is we can set them here because this vacuum hopper will handle all of it. Uh, it's range is six, so we could set up, you know, it's got a big range around this thing. So we could set up these botany pots over in this area and have them all dump into this chest. Um, but what we need to do is get this chest dumping into our fine storage. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. What do we want to dive into today? What do we want to dive into? Well, 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 um, yeah, I think it's time for us to dive into industrial foregoing because that is really going to accelerate our crop growing. So yeah, industrial foregoing it is. Okay, so industrial foregoing, if you've never used it, it's a fairly popular mod um it's a staple in a lot of packs because it does a lot of things uh it has a bunch of different blocks you have an animal rancher so that will um, automatically feed animals for you and breed them you have a plant gatherer that's going to gather break down and gather plants we have a plant sower which is going to plant seeds for us you got a fertilizer which you can use with bone meal and it'll grow plants faster, like a, a whole bunch of stuff. You have mob farming, you have uh, like uh, generators, we have, you know, wither milkers, you have tool, lots of stuff, like uh, pretty much, uh, it's a staple, okay? Let's just say it's a staple to pretty much all these mod packs. Industrial foregoing, works great, good mod, easy to get into, easy to use, I like it. Anyway, um, so with that being said, we need to get into this. So our ultimate goal here is we're going to need to get a plant sower. Um, and I think that's going to be it. Uh, we could use the plant gatherer as well, though I don't know how. It, I guess it just, uh, mm, it depends on how fast that is, because we do also have from Cyclic. Uh, Cyclic is another one of those uh bunch of mods kind of thing um we do have the there where was it there was a plant something i think from here harvester um that can harvest items it also has an item collector where it can pick up items so this is like a vacuum hopper as well um so i just don't know how what's faster the harvester or the plant gatherer we're gonna kind of kind of look into both. Also, the item collector from here too. Uh, no, we have modular routers. Uh, this has a configurable range, as far as I know. Anyway, um, so plant sower is what we're gonna need to get into. In order to get into it, though, we're gonna need to get plastic and these pity machine frames. The machine frames themselves are easy to make. Plastic, though, on the other hand, is where we are going to have um, not an issue but a challenge. It's gonna be the start to the mod pack. So if you look at industrial, we have a couple things, right? We have latex. Latex is what is used to create um, plastic. You put it into a dissolution chamber or into a um, latex processing unit, and the latex processing unit will take the latex and convert it into tiny dry rubber, and you can use that to make your plastic. So we're gonna need one of these latex processing units. We're also going to need an extractor, um, specifically a fluid extractor, because the fluid extractor extracts the latex from a block, which is, in this case, wood. Um, so we place a wood log down, or yeah, any, any kind of wood log, place it down, it will extract the latex from it, which we can then process into rubber and also store because we need it for later processes. And yeah, easy as that. So let's get going. Um, so we're gonna need fluid extractors and we're gonna need four of these guys. So let's go ahead and make four pity machine frames and then get these guys going. We're just gonna require light pressure plates, four of them, and the fluid extractor um, we need wood, we need, because we need pistons, logs. Just go ahead and use these birch. 
Can you do that? Will you? Yes. Okay. Um, and I should have requested three of those pistons. Bam and bam. Now, fluid extractors is the start. In order to get the latex processing unit, we need a bucket of this latex. So we can't do anything until we get to the uh, get the fluid extractors running. We're also going to need our fluid pipes, and we're going to need a ideally let's get an ender tank. Do I have all the stuff needed to make this? Uh, blaze rods is going to be our only thing that we don't have, um, but we could. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have an enrichment chamber set up yet. So casting table is going to be the way that it is. Um, so we need to put molten blaze in here and get a rod cast. So let's go ahead and get this. So we need a stick. And we're going to need a some gold. And I th think it's too... We'll find out if I'm right on that. Um, so let's go ahead and get our gold cooking and we can get our stick placed down here. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a cast out of this stick that will allow us to um, make other items. So if we do this, is it one or two? Eh, it was one. Um, but that's okay. What we can do is make a ingot cast. I don't mind burning a little piece of iron for this. Bam. So now we got an ingot cast. So if ever we need to make ingots, we can. So then what we got to do is put this in here. We need a total of eight blaze rods for our ender tank. Uh, ender tank uses, I'm sorry, blaze rods. Let's bookmark this. Uh, in here, we need 100 millibuckets of blaze. So let's get blaze powder. How much does each one of these get us? Ah, it requires a higher temperature, doesn't it? Molten blaze comes from, oh, actually, no, it's melting a blaze. Mm. Blaze powder doesn't work. We have to actually capture a blaze and put the blaze in there to get molten blaze. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Are we, are we going to the nether? We go into the nether. I guess we don't need an ender tank at the moment. What I would like to do is get this started. That way we can um, get everything, you know, have it running here while we're, while we go explore the nether. Cause that is something we're going to need. We need blaze rods. I um, mean, we don't have any blaze rods. We could get into, we're all, we could get into mechanism to do it, but let, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just get a regular tank for now. Um, a standard fluid tank. No, let's let's do a fluid tank. And then I think in order to upgrade to advanced, we're going to need infused alloys. So we're not going to be able to get into that yet. Um, a create fluid tank. I just want this holds how much? 14 buckets. That's enough to get us started for sure. Just seeing what other options we have here. Um, dimensional tank? What are you? Uh, well, you look complicated, that's for sure. I don't know what this is. Uh, tank Knoll has a tank. Resourceful bees. And yeah, okay. I think that's it. I think that's our tanks. Uh, singularity tank can hold 32 buckets of something, which isn't, that's not bad either. Um, and this can hold 1,024 buckets. I think we're okay for now. Okay. So then lastly, what we're going to need is some logs. Um, what? Is this a filter slot? I guess. I've never seen that before. Or, well, I have, but I never did anything with it um so let's get ourselves 16 logs here for now and then we're going to go downstairs we're going to set this up down here but eventually this is going to move into a compact machine um so what we need is a placer um cyclic has a block placer any other super simple placer 
Does the cyclic one require power? That I don't know. We also need andesite. It specifically wants andesite. It does specifically want andesite. Uh, so andesite can come from pebbles or more andesite. Or cobblestone and diorite. And diorite can come from this. Okay, so that's you. And you, and we need a dropper. Do you require power? Let's put those away. Um, block placer. No, okay. So let's break you. Also, while we're at it, um, let's go ahead and get a another hopper. Do I have the clay for this? Not a hopper botany, but I'm sorry. I did type hopper, didn't I? Um, botany pot. Do I have? No, I don't have any of that. I was going to set this up with the inferium so it could start producing the inferium, but I don't have the uh, terracotta. I just want all this stuff working passively for us. Do that and then do that. Botany pot. And then our farmland. Let's go downstairs. Did I throw something down just now? I did. Uh, so let's go ahead and put, oh gosh, stop that. Put this here with the farmland and the inferium seeds. That way those can grow while we're sitting here talking and we can start getting some inferium. Okay, so what we need to do is in this back area of this, yeah, over here, let's go ahead and get this block placer placed. So we need it to be placing up. So we have to get this to face the proper direction. That is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, so we have to shift click. Okay, so let's, let's go down here and let's take our dank and pop down here uh, and put that on the right mode. Oh, goodness. Okay. So that's there. And then if we shift click this, nope. If we, there we go. Okay. Cool. So this guy is facing the correct direction. So if we put this birch log in there, um, and also, by the way, we do need to claim it as an ally because I have these chunks claimed, which means nothing can interact with them. So um, always on. Oh, actually, it did it. Well, if ever anything doesn't work um, and you need to. Uh, yeah, if it's not working and it should be. Check your allied list. Make sure that your items are set as a fake player. That way they can, um, you know, do the things that they need to do. So we need to set this here, this here, and this here. They do have a facing, um, but you can tell it's working if you're starting to get latex inside of them. And yeah, basically that's what they're going to do. They're going to sit here and they are going to extract from this. And you can see this log is b breaking. Bam. So he's breaking slowly but surely as the latex is extracted. Um, now, one thing you can do is these do not require power, but it does help. So if you get power into these, uh, it will speed up the process of them. And I'm pretty sure it doubles the speed without even having any speed upgrades. So if we get pipes, if we get our energy pipes and we set these up, um, something like this. And ideally, we would drop that down one. So let's uh, let's go hover down here. I do have hover on, right? No, yeah, I do. Okay, it's just uh, it's just a pain to work with. And then boom, boom, and we connect that one. And that one. Okay. Um, now I got to get out of here. This is very sketchy. 
Uh, let's just let's get out this way. Okay, so we got power, so we can cover these holes back up. Or well, we don't have power yet, but we will have power soon. Um, so if I get a plug, or not a plug, a point, flux point, and we come down here, I can place this guy, you know, right here. And then we can set this to be on the output network. It should, ah, and then we got to, this is getting a little sketch. We have to set it to extract. Extract, come on. Problem is, is oh my goodness. It's the jetpack that's causing all the issues. Um, where is that thing at? Over here? Okay, there we go. If I set this to extract, there we go. And I set this to nothing. It'll disconnect from there. And now these guys should be getting power. And now they're going to work twice as fast. Okay, all of that was intense. So basically, we're getting our... Uh, do we not have enough power? You're full. Oh, I broke the connection. I didn't connect that guy up. Uh, that's you. You. Okay, there we go. Now they all should be filling up. Okay, so now they're going to speed up. And then we need to get our fluid pipes and place these on top of these guys. All right, this, this jetpack. Great, but driving me nuts. Uh, so let's get our fluid pipes here, and we can set them up here. Um, and then have them all extract. Where is my thing? Extract, 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 and extract. And if we set our tank up here, we have our tank go here. Bam. Uh, so all of our latex is extracting into this tank, right? So basically what we need now is just to wait until we get a bucket of that latex so that we can craft um, the next item, which is the uh, latex processing unit, which also is going to require power. So we can actually go ahead and pre-run that power now, which is going to be boop, right there. Latex processing unit can sit there. It doesn't need anything special because all it's going to get is the fluid and the latex. And we're going to keep this tank hooked up here so that way we are splitting our fluid that's going into the latex processing unit and that's going into the fluid tank because like I said we're going to need this latex at some point so we want to have it producing while we're sitting here. Um, I did put all 15 of those logs in there and eventually if needed we can have something we can have a modular router send logs into this guy that way it's just constantly producing latex for us. Um, so just we're basically just waiting until this gets a bucket. I could tick accelerate it, um, but we are short on our power. So I kind of am a little wary to do so. Uh, so you know, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. So I will come back when we hit a bucket so I can grab that. And we got it. So all I got to do is boop, scrap a buck, scrab grab a bucket of this latex so that way we have it ready and this will just keep running as is no need to sit here and babysit it now uh let's go ahead and check on our stuff here oh huh, this isn't breaking because i forgot to build another auto clicker auto clicker it's going to require some more diorite uh which is going to require some more cobblestone you know that's the one thing actually i have all these cobblestone generators but i don't have any piping into our system so I have no cobblestone available to the system or to myself um, I keep having to steal it from our auto sieves um, yeah that's kind of funny cobblestone diorite done clicker let's make that um, and we need to get it facing down so we need to do not that, 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 that. And then I have to go down here like I did last time. And oh gosh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that was. Ooh, 
I forgot I turned my jetpack off? That was disastrous. Oh my gosh, that was almost... <laughs> that was almost very bad. I dropped quick. Whoo-wee. That scared me. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, let's go here and then place that there. <laughs> and let's not die. Um, so, dank. Do that. Break that. And we can just get an energy pipe here. And... Bam, and then just set that to extract. Bam, okay, so that'll get that guy power. Uh, and this guy's running at one click every 20 ticks. Is that needed? Let's do every 40 ticks, let's save some power. Yeah. Let's see, is that enough? Yeah, we're good to go, okay. Um, and then the Inferium Essence I am picking up for some reason, but it should go into there. Once we get out of the way, it's because I have my my magnet stronger and faster than that magnet. Um, so we got dirt essence. Let's see if we can't get any chickens down into the area that I want chickens to be. Nope. Is that even how you make chickens in this pack? Because that may not even be working. Uh, anyway, latex processing unit. That's what we're making next. So let's get another pity machine frame. I need to get a bucket of water. Let's pop back here. Bucket of water. Also, I keep forgetting I don't need to be accessing that inventory anymore. I should just tear it down so I am not tempted to go over there. Um, latex processing unit. I think that might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this crafting grid, we can... Oh, I'm going to make a mess. Well, I'll deal with it later. I was going to break it, and we, because like I said, we have this, so we really don't need that anymore, but it's going to make a mess, so... Um, anyway, latex processing unit can just boop, sit right there and we need a pipe, bam, and it should start getting latex. Um, it's also going to need water, so we're going to have to get a sink set up somewhere here, so that way we can have water pipe into it, but that shouldn't be a big deal. We can set the water or the sink up, you know, somewhere over here. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, it's, it's got its latex. It's going to start processing once I get the water in there. And I think that is wrapping up point for this episode. Uh, after, yeah, yeah, that's wrapping up point. I'll get this sink. You guys have seen me make a sink before. So I will do this part, um, in between episodes and get that thing cooking and hopefully get us enough plastic, uh, by next episode to, well, be able to do the things that we need to do. So if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>